Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again here on my lunch break. But this phone was just launched last night and I have had my hands on it now for a couple days. This is my quick impressions of the Vivo V30. There you see it with this pretty incredible back. Look at that pattern, guys. It is definitely a floral pattern. And yes, this one is definitely aimed more for a certain demographic, but I do think it is a beautiful phone. And let's go ahead and start talking about the design. At 7.45 millimeters, 186 grams, this is definitely one of the lighter phones that I've used in a while. But what's even better is that it still houses a 5,000 milliamper capacity battery. That means this is the slimmest 5,000 milliamper battery phone on the market. And yes, the sides here you can see are fully plastic, but they're done in this polished look. But the back is what you're really gonna be looking at here with this Vivo V30. Essentially, it is a mid-range device, but I think they got some pretty cool stuff in here. And Vivo, since the X100 Pro, you know, they've been launching some pretty cool phones. And this V series, I do enjoy it. It has a bit more of a design flair. I think it's definitely aimed a bit more towards the ladies but honestly you can rock this and still enjoy it you see how it is in the lighting it is a very cool look but when you go to the front you get a lot of great stuff too there we go there is that 6.78 inch AMOLED 120 Hertz display let's go max brightness on here so you can see it it is plenty bright guys and yes a lot of these mid-range phones are still using these curved edges but as you compare to the Redmi Note, the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus, the bezels on this one are far smaller. I think Vivo's winning in that game when it comes to the, just the slimness of the bezels and the more immersive display experience. And you can see here, just go to the details of the phone so you can take a look. There we see we are running in terms of performance, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 with 12 gigs of RAM, 200, 512 gigs of storage. So this is a pretty, pretty uh, well, I guess, well specced out mid-range monster here and running FunTouch OS as well. FunTouch OS has come a long way, guys. I used to call it one of the worst uh, OSs or one of the worst software skins, you know, on Android. But I do think now FunTouch OS 14 is a very polished OS and I've really grown to like it now. It is just, it is a lot more Android than it was trying to be before when it was trying to be more iPhone. And I think it is just fantastic. Now in terms of that Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 performance, there we see it, Vivo V30, and we got a 841,000 N22 benchmark here. Once again, a step above the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus, and it definitely is a solid mid-range performance here from this phone. Now the real question is, are you gonna be okay with this performance and the design of this phone? Because it definitely is aimed more towards the selfie crowd. And wrapping up here with the cameras, that's really the main point of this phone, is I would say the cameras and this aura light here on the back, which I think is really cool. I was showing this to my, I'm gonna switch over to photo, because it really is only in photo where you can use this. There you can see the aura light. Let's go ahead and turn it on now. And as you can see, you can actually adjust the temperature of the aura light. Oh, I just turned off the phone, darn it. There we go. You can adjust the light temperature of the aura light. As you can see in the settings there, move it around and it will slowly adjust. Depending on the lighting, you can really get the right type of lighting here for rear shots. OIS on this 50 megapixel camera setup. And I think that's pretty neat. And I do have some samples I've taken just yesterday. Let's go to it here. And yes, we were in Yunlong yesterday. It was a pretty awesome experience, I gotta say. I had not been to Yunlong. This is where my new is from originally. You can see some of the zoom shots there from the rooftop, 1X, 2X, 10X. I think this was 20X. But this aura light, we talk about the quality here the of the shots really nice but I do have an example of the aura light look at that that is obviously there's my daughter and it is a beautiful shot it is absolutely beautiful 
Now the portrait definitely got this guy. He was walking by in his New York Yankees hat. I don't think he was supposed to be in the shot, but I do think the aura light does create for some very nice rear photos like this and portrait photos. I think it'll be more useful at night for sure, but this is the kind of feature that, you know, my girlfriend was mentioning, this is cool. This is like an innovative feature. Well, Vivo's been doing this on this V series for a while. And I do think it does allow it to stand out a bit from the crowd in terms of just bringing an additional feature to this price point. Now, I do think this one is going to start at a bit of a higher price. I'll need to confirm the pricing there, but it's definitely not gonna be the same price point as the 13 Pro Plus. If you're in Vivo camp though, you may be considering the X100 Pro my audience is probably not even looking at this phone, but I do think there's a lot to enjoy here. You got that 5,000 milliampere battery, the 80 watt flash charge, no wireless charging though on this one, and that really big, beautiful 6.78 inch, 120 hertz display. Super buttery smooth. Performance has been great overall. I really have had no issues with it. So I think all in all, Vivo has had a pretty awesome release here with this V30. If you can get over the looks, I don't know. I don't know if I could rock this every day, but I mean, it is a very slim and beautiful phone. And it's here on Frankie Tech, the Vivo V30. Great job, Vivo. And thanks for sending this one out. But hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts on this Vivo V30? And do you think that you appreciate the cameras on this? I will mention once again also that this does have, I'll show you here very quick. This does have, there we go, 4K, 4K, 30 FPS on the front camera, 50 megapixel front camera. So for you guys, you know, considering Android phones, and that's a flagship feature, I feel, 4K front video on Android phones, this one has it. And I think for vlogging, that would make a very big difference. It makes a huge difference to me. So all in all, hit me up in the comments, guys. What are your thoughts on this phone? I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this one. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon for future updates. Limited time, guys. Getting busy here before Chinese New Year, getting the auction, my next auction all set up. But I'm here to deliver some more content, tech content for you guys. Appreciate all the support. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. What a back, guys. What a back. Oh, yeah.